Hi there. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And you guys, how do you feel today? Uh -huh. Tired. Tired. Yeah. I imagine. Tired. <laughs> tired too? Yes. I imagine that. But Thursday, guys. <laughs> Let's resist a little bit more, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How was your day, everyone? Anything interesting? Yes? Nothing interesting. <laughs> really? So busy. Oh, my gosh. And the rest of you guys? How was your day? Uh, a little bit tired few minutes ago, I arrived here to the house because I I come from the at the hospital. I went with my wife. Yes. I mean, are you, are you okay? It's not an emergency. It's, everything is okay. Uh, but if I have to travel uh, to the hospital and go back, a little bit tighter. Absolutely. But in the end, everything is okay. So we are here. That's great. I'm glad that everything is okay. Thank you. Excellent. All right. And the rest of you guys, anything interesting today? No? Only working and tired, <laughs> I imagine. All right. But thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you for the effort that you do every single day to connect. So we are going to... Take advantage of that effort and we are going to try to learn and practice a lot of English. All right. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Yes. No. Oh, I can see a dog. <laughs> yeah. Is he the new student? Yeah, he wants to participate in this class. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. All right. So, everybody, uh -huh, what was the topic that we practiced yesterday? Do you remember? Oh. <laughs> no, nobody. So, maybe we should have another exam, right? The man in, in, the man in black come with all of us and Ah, sure. <laughs> and now you forgot everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh huh. Let's see. Do you want another exam, maybe? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Evelyn, tell us. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? I had problem yesterday with my internet, so I left the class early. I think like ten minutes before nine. Ah, okay, okay. I need uh, teacher. Teacher Amanda won't be at the class today because she's really sick. Oh my gosh! Really? Yes. Yes. Okay. I hope she gets better soon. Thank you for telling me, Evelyn. Uh, tell her to take care of herself. To take the medicine if she already has the medicine, okay? Yes, yes. Very Thanks. good, excellent. Okay, now everybody, we are going to start. Um, I can see a lot of people with the word listener. Hmm. Everybody, I just want to remind you something that is crucial, something that is very important and that sometimes we can forget. Remember that this program is financial by the INSAFOR, right? Basically, they are paying for you. Imagine that uh, you have, um, imagine that you have your son or your nephew or someone and you say, hey, I'm going to pay English classes to my nephew. And suddenly you realize that your nephew <laughs> never attends to the class or never participates in the class. 
how will you feel? Uh huh. Will you feel? Ah, very good. You won't feel happy, right? You will feel like kind of a little disappointed, right? And will you continue paying for his classes? Mm, maybe you will think about it. So what I'm trying to say is that believe me, guys, that I totally understand when you say that you have to work. Believe me, I, I believe you. And I wish I could do something else for you. I wish I could talk to your boss and say, hey, let them go home early, right? I wish I could. Um, I just want to say that remember that these classes are recorded. People from INSA4 verify the classes. People from INSA4 see what is happening here. So if they see this image, for example, just imagine that they see exactly what we are seeing right now that I can see only like five people with the camera on, only five people participating. How will they feel? Imagine they say, hey, we are paying classes for these people. And, and so I just want you guys to be conscious about it. Keep it in mind. This is a great opportunity for you. I know that you want to learn the language. I know that you are doing a great effort because, I mean, being connected here in the class all the time is not easy, right? So um, let's make it worth it, okay? Um, appreciate the effort that not just you, but the people who is paying for this program is doing, okay? So if you're going to be a listener, believe me, I totally understand. But what happens, guys, is that I'm seeing this scene all the time. It's very frequently, okay? In every single class, I have a lot of listeners. So be careful because at the end that is going to affect you and it's going to affect the group okay just keep in mind remember use the options listener just when it is totally necessary like emergency okay that's all that's the reason emergency okay remember that the more you practice the more that you will learn, right? So let's use the resource of listeners only when it's when there is not another option, okay? Well, <laughs> that was the little call to the conscious, <laughs> all right? After this little reflection, I'm going to start. Um, <laughs> No es un regaño, right? Uh, yo se los digo así con todo el cariño del mundo porque yo siento que, al menos en mi caso, a mí sí me gusta que mis estudiantes aprendan. Yo los aprecio. Así que, please keep it in mind and try to do the effort to participate more in the classes. Any questions? Yes? No, no teacher, all clear. Thank you for the advice. So we know that we have to, to practice it and uh, speaking, reading, writing. Uh, Everything, yeah. Exactly, but it is, like you said, it is so difficult because uh, the most of us uh, have to work, have a family, uh, maybe woke up earlier in the morning. I know. But this, this class will help us to maybe travel to a different country mm -hmm. or get a different uh -huh. job and earn more uh, dinner, oh, sorry, earn more money. Money. So the money is not happiness, but help. It to, helps, uh, <laughs> absolutely. Money. Yeah, think yeah. about think about the benefits, guys, that you right. will get, all right? So try to make an effort, right? And as I always said, if you participate, you will feel that the two hours are shorter, okay? If everybody is interacting, if everybody is participating, so the class is going to be more dynamic and you will feel that the time is shorter, all right? So 
Again, let's try to do it. Um, if you feel that the topic is difficult, if you want to practice more, I mean, I'm here to help you. But I really want you guys also to try to make the effort too. As your classmate said, is difficult? Absolutely. I mean, I totally understand. But let's try, okay? Pretty good. All right, so let's start, everybody. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Pretty good. Okay, today is August 17th, and this is the topic that we are going to study today. Reported speech, yes, no questions. With this topic, basically, guys, we are starting the unit number two okay we have been studying reported the speech of affirmative and negative sentences we also uh, practice reported speech for the imperatives so now we are going to learn reported speech for the yes no questions okay so we are going to learn the structure and we are going to have a lot of practice as always. But before that, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. I will read it. Thank you. And class objective at the end of the class. For oh, I'm sorry. Time. I'm so sorry. This is a, a wrong objective. Let me show you the correct one. Okay, no problem. Yeah, so sorry. I mean... Um, can you see what I'm sharing right now? No, not yet. No. Okay. Hmm. How about now? Nothing yet. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to try to change my connection to Wi-Fi. I think that that is a little bit slow. Well, I don't know if you can see what I'm sharing right now. Can you guys? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, uh, continue reading, please. Now this is the one. Okay. Um, reported speech, just no question. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will learn how to use reported speech with just no question and simple present and simple past. Thank you. So that is the class objective. During the previous days, we have been practicing reported speech, but only with the sentences that are in simple present. For example, imperatives are in simple present. The affirmative and negative sentences that we practiced were in simple present. So today we are going to use simple present, but also simple past, okay? So I hope everybody, those verbs in simple past, those verbs in past participle are in your mind because we are going to use them. But before that, let's have a quick review. If you remember yesterday, we had an exam. Do you remember that? We did it yesterday. Yes. How was the exam? Was it easy or difficult? So, uh -huh. so. 50-50. 50-50? Okay. <laughs> we are going to uh, review that quiz, okay? And we are going to analyze your answers. I could see, guys, very good answers. However, the situation is that some of you had a difficult or you forgot some of important punctuation symbols or maybe one letter was wrong or the grammar tense was different. But let's resolve the exam together. Look at the first sentence says, I live in New York. Remember that in this case, we are using reported speech with affirmatives and negative sentences. They are not imperatives. We have subject. 
So we need to use the complete form of the reported speech. So in the first one, I told you guys that all the sentences will start with she said, she said. okay? Some of you had the mistake because you didn't read the instructions. Some of you the, uh, wrote he said, ah, or ah, she told me. <laughs> read the instructions, please. So we are going to start with she said. Now, what do we need after that? That we can put Very that. Good. Uh huh. If you want, you can write the word that or not. That is optional. So she said that she uh -huh, that she. Then what she, happens with the verb? The past simple past. past. And what is the past of leave? Leave. <laughs> Lived in New York. New York. Period. Now. Period. <laughs> okay. Now, in the case, some people, instead of she, some people wrote he. And I mean, it's fine, guys. What I was trying to check is the structure. I wanted to see the use of the different pronouns and the use of the verb in past. Okay. Now, if she, some people wrote something like, ah, she said that she leaves in New York. Is that correct? No. No. Remember, the it's verb not, is in past. in past. Some people wrote, she said that I live in New York. Mm, can we say that? No. No. We need to change the pronoun. And some people forgot the point, okay? That is not a big deal, but remember, guys, that even in the platform, uh, when you are working on the exercises in the platform, you need to be careful with the spelling, okay? So every time that you finish a sentence, point, okay? Next, he works in a bank. So what will be the reported speech here? Again, we need to start with the sentence with she said. Uh-huh. She said... Uh -huh. she said he work, worked in a bank. Worked in a, in a bank. bank. Um, so remember, in this case, he, do we need to change he for another pronoun? What do you think? Do we need to change it? No. In this case, it's not necessary to change it, right? But the verb, totally, always in past. She said she worked in a bank, okay? I think that in the answer key was incorrect because it says back, I guess, if I'm not yes. wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's my bad, that's my bad, I'm sorry. It was 11 p.m. when I was doing <laughs> this activity, uh, but it's bank, okay? And again, the period. If you see, guys, again, if you want, you can write the word that or not. It's optional. Next one, she said, and then it says, Julie doesn't like going out much. Pay attention here because I have a sentence that is in negative. So what will be the answer here? She said, Julie mm -hmm. didn't. You can write Julie or you can say she, she right? It's fine. However, guys, when we have proper names, it's not necessary to change it. So she said that Julie or she said Julie uh -huh. didn't like. Very good. Look at this. We need to change the auxiliary in past. So she said Julie didn't like. And the rest of the sentence, guys, look, it's just the same. Okay? Pretty good. 
I have another sentence in negative here. So she said, mm -hmm. she didn't have a computer. Yeah, so you can say that or not. She didn't have a computer. Now, again, some people wrote he, it's fine, doesn't matter. Some people didn't change the auxiliary. And instead of saying didn't, they continue writing don't or doesn't. So remember guys, in the reported speech, we always change the grammar tense and we do it in simple past. And the last one in this first part, they never arrive on time. Again, she said, mm -hmm. they never arrive never arrived on time on time okay so remember the rules that is optional and you need to change the pronoun where is necessary and always the verb in past that was the first part now in the second part we had what is this Imperatives. Imperatives. Now, in the instruction said that these sentences need to say, she asked me. Now, again, some of you had a, a wrong answer because you change the verb. Some of you, instead of asked, wrote, told me, required, advised, suggested, recommended. I mean, the verbs, we can change it depending on the intention of the speaker. But during the exam, guys, again, follow the instructions, please. Now, she asked me, what do you need to do next? Two. Very good. Preposition. Some of you didn't write the, rep the preposition. Some of you wrote that. Can I use that if I'm reporting the imperatives? No. In this case? No. no, we can't. So we are going to say, she asked me to come early. Do I need to change the verb in simple past? No. No. Because I have the preposition to, I need infinitive <laughs> verbs. Okay? Next one, buy some milk. Again, we need to say, she asked me, buy some milk. Very good, to buy some milk. All right. Next, here I have an imperative, but in negative. She asked me, not to. Okay. Ah, very good. And here, again, we got some mistakes because some people said something like not to, not to, or I'm, I'm sorry, to not to. Mm, no. Remember, we just need one preposition. The first one mm -mm, is not there. So she asked me not to open the window. Okay, that's the way that we can answer this sentence. In the number four, again, I had another negative imperative. So she asked me, what is the answer here? Not to. Not to. Smoke. Very good. Look. Um, actually, guys, I was checking the answers and most of you had better answers in the imperatives part than in the first part. So I consider that maybe reporting imperatives maybe is easier for you, I guess. Or because I consider that in the first classes, some of you weren't in the classes, right? 
And that's why the first questions maybe were more difficult. But even though we need to practice both. And the last one, do your homework. So she asked me to, to do very to good do. to do my homework. In this case, guys, some of you wrote your homework. Or some of you said my homework. Um, the correct one is mine. However, if you wrote your, is still acceptable. Okay, the important thing, guys, is that I wanted to see the structure. I know that there are some little details that we need to consider, but remember that the idea for this activity is not to... Uh, to see you that everything is wrong, right? The idea is to see that how much you have understood the topic. Um, and basically, these should be your answers. As I mentioned before, the only reason why some of you had nine is because in this one, the key was wrong, okay? The key answer. It has to say bank, but it says back, but that is my mistake, okay? So the rest of the sentences, that's the way that you should have answered it, okay? Any questions so far, guys, about this quiz that we had? About one of the sentences? Is there a sentence that you don't understand why? That's the answer. Yes? No? No, it's, it's clear for me. No. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Do you want to have another quiz? For me, yes, for me, I, 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 I don't understand for uh, the chain. The, the 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 chain is a uh, he your oh the change of the pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The reason, guys, why we need to change the pronoun is because of this. And I want to explain it in this way. Look at this one. Let me open up again the exercise. I want you to think about this. Uh, I'm going to use some of your names. For example, imagine that, uh, let me see, Andrea. Imagine that Andrea is talking and Andrea says, I live in New York. Who says the sentence? Andrea. Andrea says the sentence, right? So imagine I want to repeat what she said. And I, me, Clarissa, I said, ah, she said, or Andrea said that I lived in New York. If I say this sentence, what will you understand? Will you understand that Andrea lives in New York or that I, Clarissa, live in New York? What will you understand? That is Andrea, Andrea, Andrea lives. Sure? Imagine again. Yo voy a decir esto. Andrea dijo la oración. Andrea dijo, hey, I live in New York. Vengo yo. Clarisa, y yo lo voy a repetir y digo, hey, Andrea dijo que yo vivo en Nueva York que yo vivo en Nueva York entonces, según ustedes ¿quién vive en Nueva York? ¿Andrea o yo? según esta oración Clarisa. yo yo, yo right? so, por eso, exactly ¿habría una confusión aquí? ¿sí o no? yes so, yes That's why we need to change the pronoun. Por eso yo ya no puedo decir I. I need to say she. ¿Por qué? Porque she. fue ella lo que lo dijo. Entonces yo estoy diciendo, ah, she said, or Andrea said that, ¿quién vive en Nueva York? Andrea. She. Exactly. She. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to change the pronoun. Again, in some sentences, it's not necessary to do the changes. In some sentences, we do. For example, <laughs> sorry, I have a little sore throat. 
Okay, for example, in the next one, he works in a bank. Okay, I'm going to take another name. For example, here, imagine that Boris. Boris dijo, hey, I work in a bank, okay? He, pero continuo hablando de he. ¿Es necesario cambiarlo? In this case, it's not necessary. ¿Por qué? Porque no. ya estamos hablando de he. The voice. Mm -hmm. the so he. That's, that's why in algunas sentences, it's not necessary. Another mm -hmm. example where it is not necessary is when we have proper names. Porque lo que hacemos es volver a escribir el proper name. Ah, she said that Julie didn't like going out. So estoy repitiendo el proper name. It's not necessary to change it. Okay? okay? Is it clear why we need to change the pronoun in some scenarios, everyone? Yes. Pretty good. Any other questions that you may have? Yes? No? No, no. In, in, the, in, the, in the platform, uh -huh. exercise, exercise of really is similar, is similar uh, example mm -hmm. or exercise. Uh, the... What is the number of the exercise? Is the, is the, is the three. Okay. It's, it's a three. Is the, 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 the tape, the, the, the word, the, using the, using the, the, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a, so it's basically the same exercise to report the speech. Similar, mm -hmm. Yes, 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 report the speech. Yes. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's what you have to keep in mind. Always try to, uh, to change it, okay? And remember, if you have some issues with some of the exercises, uh, please, you can take a screenshot and send it to me and I'm going to help you, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question. All right. Well, uh, that was just a quiz, everyone. All right. Don't worry. That is not going to uh, reprove you. Remember, these quizzes that we do in the class is just to see how much you understood the topic. Okay. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. Uh, today, guys, I will be mentioning your full names <laughs> uh, because it needs to be recorded during the class when I check attendance. Just remember, guys, on your profiles, you need to write your full names, names, and last names. Don't forget that. Um, so when you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. She's sick. Oh, she's sick. Thank you. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. All right. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez Baires. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Kevin? Present. Okay, thank you. Maria Jose Tiwenza de Mendoza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Teresa Mejia. 
Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present. All right. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Thank you. Rafael, um, yeah, Rafael. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez Nea. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza Alvarado. Present. Excellent. Pretty good. All right. Now, Thank you. yes. Uh, you didn't mention me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me check. Carlos Mauricio Mendívar Caballero. Thank yes, you. Present. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, guys. With the H, you start to get blind. <laughs> All right. Well, let us start with the topic for today. Guys, I need you to be focused today. This topic uh, can be a little bit confusing if you don't pay attention. So be careful. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. 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 Excellent. Now, before starting to this topic, there is something that we need to practice. And we need to practice the verbs in past and in past participle. Do you remember the verbs in past and in past participle? Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, okay. Uh huh, and the rest of you? Ah, yeah, to be honest, I think that we need to have a review, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen, today, guys, we are going to start using the verbs not only in past but also in past participle. Okay, so if you don't remember the verbs, I'm going to send you a list of the most common verbs in passing in past participle. So you can start reviewing them and try to memorize them because this is essential. If you want to speak English in different grammar tenses, you need to memorize the verbs, okay? I'm going to send it the list, but first, let's have a quick review, okay? Um, how many girls? I think that we have few girls and a lot of boys, but I can see only only three girls oh my gosh and i can see one two three four five six boys connected well with the camera on okay let's do something girls do you want to try girls versus boys yes let's do it, do it. and i will help you girls i will help you okay. No worries. Okay. Um, this is very easy, guys. You just have to tell me a number. And you will see a verb. And you just have to tell me the past and the past participle form. Okay? Girls, I will help you. Don't worry. So give me a number. You will have only 20 seconds to answer. I want a very good pronunciation, please. Let's start. Girls, give me a number. Nine. Okay. What is the past and past participle of the verb see? Be so seen. So seen. <laughs> Only the girls. Girls, can you repeat? <laughs> so seen. So and seen. So and seen. Very good job. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Remember? Now, only the boys can answer. Boys? Three. Number three. Drink. Drink, drunk. Drunk, drunk. Drunk is drunk. drunk. Okay, in past? Drunk, drunk. 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 Any past participle? Drunk. 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 So, what is the difference? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. What is the difference between the past participle and the past? The spelling? T R U N K. Okay. Now, 
In this case, guys, if you see, I mean, the pronunciation can be a little bit tricky because yeah. this one, what is the pronunciation? Drunk. Drunk. And this one? Drunk. Drunk. We don't say drunk. Now, the key, drunk. guys, is the drunk. position of your mouth. In the first one, is a ah, okay? Drunk. Drunk. Like when you say cat. Let's say cat. Cat. So, yeah. drunk. Cat. Drunk. Okay? And in this one, it's a little bit different because your mouth is like, uh, let's do, like, uh, when you are smiling, like, uh, uh, <laughs> okay? So, the pronunciation is like, drunk. 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 Ah, the position of your mouth is going to make the sounds different. This is okay. like when you pronounce the word um, hot, sun, okay? Drunk is the same sound. Drunk. So that is the difference. Drunk, drunk, okay? Yeah. Got it. I'm going to accept the answer, but be careful. Okay, girls, give me a number. Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Eight, Eden. Eight, Eden. Ah, very good. Eight, Eden. Pretty good. Boys? Five. Okay. Have. 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 Don't. Have. Okay, in past, had. had. In past had. participle? Had. Don't. Have. So is the same? Yeah. Yes. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. Girls. Eight. Okay. Go. Go. Gone. Went. Went. Gone. Went. Okay. In past? Went. 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 Past participle? Gone. Gotten. Mm, gotten or gone? Gone. Gone. Sorry. Gone. gone. Yes. Gone. 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 <laughs> Very good. Very good. Boys? Two. Two. The verb do. Do. Did. 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 Did and done. Good job. Good job. Okay, girls? Ten. Ten. Sleep. 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 Past participle? A sleep, I think. Is the okay. same? So it's the same? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Pretty good job. Boys? Uh, four or seven? Four. Four, okay. Meet. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Met. Met. Very good. All right, this is a tie. Oh my gosh. Girls? One. Okay. Make. 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 Is the same? Make. Yes. Make. 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 Is this? Is this? Make. Is the same? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay, boys. This is the last one for you. Swim. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What is the difference? Ah, uh -huh. and now I can see some of you trying to do the pronunciation with your mouth. That's the one. Okay, I think that is a Hi, pretty good job. Now, listen, these are very basic verbs, but guys, you have to memorize the verbs, the regulars, the irregulars in past, in past participle. Um, right now, I'm sending a list, okay, on WhatsApp's group. It's a very short list. It's just with the most common irregular verbs in past and in past participle. Remember that the regulars are easier because they don't need um, changes. They just need to add ed in, in past and in past participle is the same. So the difficult ones are the irregulars. So my recommendation, everybody, please let's start with the verbs, 
okay? If there are some verbs that you don't remember, let's try to memorize them because we need it, okay? In this topic, we are going to use both the regulars and the irregulars in past and in past participle, okay? So let's start with the grammar structure. We are going to see yes, no questions. As I mentioned before, we already studied the affirmative and negative sentences and the imperatives. So now, how can we report the speech but the yes, no questions? We are going to start with the yes, no questions in simple present, okay? For example, um, remember the rules for the report of the speech? The first rule, we need to change the pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yes, do you remember that rule? Yes. Yes. What was the second rule? Change the verb. Change we need to change past. the verb in past. Now, if we are working with the yes, no questions, there is a new rule. If it is a yes, no questions, we need to add the word okay. Yes. okay and here we got an example do you want some more cake right that is the simple question right a typical yes no question in simple present we have the auxiliary in simple present do you want some more cake now imagine that i ask you guys um what did she ask now look at the structure. She asked, and then we need to add the word if. She asked if he, look, we change the pronoun, the verb always in simple past. And then we say she asked if he wanted some more cake. Tell me something. Do I need the auxiliary in the reported speech? Yes or no? No. 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 We are reporting the questions as an affirmative sentence. Okay? So, do you want some more cake? She asked if he wanted some more cake. I will give you another example. Imagine that I say, do you work every day? That is a yes, no question. So what will be the reported speech? She, she asked uh -huh. Five. And we work every day. If I or mm -hmm. if we mm -hmm. work every day. Work worked every day. Do I need the question mark? What do you think? No. No. No, really, because we are reporting it as an affirmative sentence. Okay? Important. Remember the steps. Don't forget that we need the word if. That's the key. And this, guys, is the same structure for every single uh, yes, no question. Because remember that the yes, no questions can be with the auxiliary do. We can have the verb to be. We can have a model. Let's see another example, but with the verb to be. Are you listening to me? What did she ask? Again, what is the first thing that I need? She asked. She asked if, if we, again, we can change the pronoun if we, in this case, the example says he, because we don't know the context, right? We don't know exactly who is talking. What happens with the verb? Change. Is in past. For a tense. Mm -hmm. She asked if he was listening to her. Another example. Imagine that I ask. Um, let's see. Are you from Mexico? What did she ask? 
She asked me if I was from Mexico. Okay. She asked me if I was from Mexico. Or if I'm talking to all of you instead of I, I can say we. If we were from Mexico. But look, I need the word if and the verb always in simple past. Got it? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Did you copy, guys? Yes. Wait a minute. Not yet, teacher. I'm copy. sorry. It's okay. No worries. I will give you the time. Copy, please. Don't worry. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the, the, the example, I... I Eraser. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Let me try to write it again. This Thank one? You. You're welcome. Yes. Let me know when you finish, guys. Copy, please. If you want to write it, do it. I will give you the time. Just let me know when you finish. Thank you. You're welcome. Copy everyone. We are going to be practicing Teacher. this topic during this unit. Yes. The the question is correct. Are you from Mexico or is a uh, are you from Mexico? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, my bad. It's from. Okay. From. Okay. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you for telling me. Are you from Mexico? Let me know when you finish. I finished. All right, excellent. Everybody, did you finish? Yes, I did. Yes, all of you guys? Yes. Can I move to yes. the next slide? Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty good. Okay, this explanation or this grammar box is also, guys, on your manuals. In your manuals, you can find different examples. Um, I need a volunteer, please, for reading these lines. Please. Yes, go ahead. Uh, from the beginning, how to use reported speech? Just no question. Introduced by if whether. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. When reporting, when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. Yes, no question. This type of question is reported by using ask, want to know, plus if, whether, plus close. Thank you. Pay attention to this explanation, everyone. In this case, guys, when we are reporting yes, no questions, look, there is a shift back. What do you think? What is the meaning of shift back? Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. If I'm talking about the verb tense, shift back means that we change the grammar tense into past. So if we are talking in simple present, we are going to shift back. Es decir, nos vamos a echar un tiempo gramatical atrás. All right? And instead of reporting in simple present, we are going to report it in past. Now, when we are talking just no questions, look at this one. We use the word if. But there is a synonym. Some people use if, but also some people use whether. Those words are exactly the same. They are just synonyms. So 
Maybe you can listen to some people using whether or some people will use if. Honestly, if is more common, but even though you have to keep in mind, guys, that you can also use the word whether. And here we got some examples. For example, imagine that you are talking to a customer and the customer asks the following question. Is there a special discount for this product? So, what did the customer ask? Uh -huh. The customer asked, again, you can use if or you can use whether. So, guys, what did the customer what, ask? Whether. Uh -huh. The customers asked whether there was a special discount for the product. That's the one. So you can say whether or you can say if. Simple. Now look at the next example. I have another customer and the customer asks, um, can this be purchased in the United Kingdom or only in the United States? Hmm, what did the customer ask? The customer asked if the product will, oh, sorry, if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Thank you. What is the past form of the verb can? Could. Could. What is the past of the verb is? Was. That's all. So that is the structure that you need to follow. I need to say, okay, the customer asked. Then I need the word if or the synonym, whether. And then I need the sentence in simple past. Got it? Everyone? Yes. Um, for me, it's the, the first time uh, that I heard the word weather. Uh, I don't know is exactly the same that if or it sees any difference between there. Not really. They are synonyms. They are exactly the same. But what happens, guys, is that the word if is more common. Most of the people use if. We, that we are learning the language, most of the time we use if. But they are synonyms. They are exactly the same. Both are the same. It's not like, ah, oh, this is more formal, this is more polite. No, they are exactly the same, okay? And the word uh, sounds like the weather. So when we're talking about the time, like- Yes. Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can use the word that you prefer, all right? If you want to use if, that's great, do it. I just wanted to teach you both ways because imagine that you are talking from, I mean, to someone that is from the United States and they use the word weather, you can get confused, right? So you need to know that they are synonyms. Now, let's have some practice. I have here, guys, some questions. I wanted to change the direct questions into reported speech. For example, the first question says, is John at home? Hmm. She asked me. I have the word if. So what do I need next? If John was, was at home. home. If John was, was at, at home. home. Look. Verb in past. Important, guys, we need to report the sentence as in affirmative. So I don't need a question mark at the end. Now, I will be asking individually. Um, let me fix someone. Da -da 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 -da. Pamela Carolina. Pamela, can you tell me the reported speech for the se second question? Um, she asked me if um, if I was late. Okay, am I late? 
He asked me if I was late. Like this? Yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think, guys? No. Um, teacher, yeah. I'm teacher. I'm sorry? Teacher, uh, el, el, um. Ah, el am is in simple present. Remember, we need to change the sentence in past. So the verb am is replaced for the verb was. That is the form in simple past. Okay? But the question here is... The pronouns. Can I change the, the pronoun? Yes. If so? I, maybe with you, he or she. Ah, yes. very good. This is the same, guys, yes. that I was yes. explaining before. Imagine that this sentence, Pamela said that. So Pamela said, teacher, am I late? So, ah, I will report her question. Okay, Pamela asked me if... Her. Okay. Ah, her or she? She, she, she sorry. She was late. Yeah. She was late. So in this case, the correct pronoun is she. She mm. asked me if she was late. Mm. Very good. Now, Pamela, pick one of your classmates, please. Me, teacher. Oh, Elias wants to be a volunteer. Nice. Yeah. I have many days without listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. But I'm okay. here right now. Excellent. I'm happy to see you here. Okay. What is the report of the speech? She asked me if... If it was cold outside. Okay, cold outside. So guys, what do you think? Is that correct? Uh-huh. Yes, it is correct. Do we need to change uh, the pronoun in this case? No. no. Not really, no. right? Because I'm talking about the weather. So the weather is it. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Any questions so far, guys? No. No, no, no. questions? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Elias, pick one of your classmates, please. Mm, maybe... Nelson. All right. <laughs> Hello, Nelson. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. So what will be the report of the speech in the next question? Does okay. Julie drink tea? Okay. She asked if, me if Julie uh, drank tea. Oops. If Julie drank tea. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. 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 Totally. Excellent job. Instead of saying drink, verb in past. Drunk. Nice. Nelson, pick someone, please. Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Next one, please. Okay. She asked me if I liked coffee. If I okay. liked sugar. I'm sleepy. I think that you want coffee right now. <laughs> uh, all right. So what do you think, guys? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, totally. Imagine. Again, guys, the pronouns. We need to be careful with that. And don't forget the verbs in past. Andrea, can you pick someone, please? Okay. Um, Oscar. Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Do yes. they own a flat? She asked me if they owned a flat. If they owned a flat. Like this? Everybody, is that correct? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Now, imagine, guys, that's the reason why we need to memorize the verbs in past. If you don't know the verbs in past, you are not going to be able to uh, repeat or to report the sentences. That's why it's very important to review the verbs. Okay? Oscar, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh-huh. Oscar? <laughs> Sorry, I was mute. <laughs> uh, I see uh, maybe Pamela. Uh, she already participated. Another one. Me teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, I have two volunteers. Boris and who was the other one? Osman. Okay. Um let's see. Bodies, you say the first one. Osman, you will say the second. Okay? okay. Go ahead, bodies. Uh, she asked me if uh -huh. I was a doctor. If I was a doctor. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yes, very good. Excellent, Boris. Osman? Thank you. She asked me if uh, James and Lucy were from France. France. Okay, we're from France. Everybody, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Totally. Very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. The last one, volunteer for the last one. Me. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Mm, he asked me if they went on holiday every summer. Okay. So guys, what do you think? If they went on a holiday every summer, is that correct? Yes. Yes. yes Excellent job. So, guys, if you see, it's not that difficult. You just have to remember the structure. She asked me, then the word if, change the pronoun if it is necessary, and don't forget to change the verb in Pass. Got it? Yes? Yes. yes. Any questions so far? Yes, teacher. Not so far. Questions? Questions? This is the moment. No questions? Are you sure? If you don't have questions, I will ask you. <laughs> uh huh. No questions? All right, pretty good, excellent. Okay, guys, don't lie to me. If you have questions, I, I, please tell I, me. I, I copy, I oh, copy this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay, copy. Please, guys, if you are copying and I switch, tell me so I can go back, all right? Don't worry, I will give you the time to copy. Take notes, everyone. If you have questions, just let me know, please. If there is something that is not clear, tell me. I can explain again. There's no problem at all. Copy, please. Let me know when you finish. Finish, teacher. Thank you. You're very welcome. Everybody, did you copy? Teacher. Yes. Uh, when did you change the subject? For example, in the second, in the same 
pronoun, James and Lucy. Mm -hmm. In the last one, he's saying they, they, mm -hmm. are the first change. All right, yes. Remember guys, we are going to change the pronoun just when it is necessary. The first things that you have to keep in mind is if I have proper names, I'm not going to change them because it's a proper name, okay? In the case to know when do I need to change it or not, I just want you to analyze the question, all right? I mean, for example, in this case, are you a doctor? I mean, I'm going to write it like with the example. Imagine that Carlos, Carlos asked me the question, are you a doctor teacher? So, si yo voy a repetir la pregunta que Carlos me hizo, yo voy a decir, Carlos me preguntó, right? Puedo decir, Carlos me preguntó si you were a doctor. ¿Tendría sentido? No. Carlos me preguntó si tú eras un doctor. No. Does it make sense? No. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso ustedes que van a entender que la pregunta iba dirigida another person. Another, hacia another. ti, no hacia mm -hmm. mí, right? Es por mm -hmm. eso que tengo que cambiarlo. <coughs> por eso voy a decir, Carlos me preguntó si yo era un doctor o una doctora. In this case, we need to change it. Así es como lo tienen que analizar just to see if we need to change it or not. In the case of the next sentence, for example, do they go on holiday every summer? Again, imagine that here, for example, Nelson asked the question, teacher, do they go on holiday every summer? So if I'm going to repeat the question, I say, ah, es que Nelson me preguntó si ellos fueron de vacaciones. Hmm, do I need to change it? In this no. case, no really, porque ellos sigue teniendo sentido a que si yo digo, ah, Nelson me preguntó si ellos fueron de vacaciones. Got it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know that is a little bit confusing, guys, but try to see it in that way. Traten de verlo de esa forma, de, de ese punto de vista. ¿Tendría sentido si lo digo con el mismo pronoun? Or do mm -hmm. I need to change it? Okay. okay. And thank you. Okay. You're very welcome. Something that helps me, guys, when I was studying, and something that helped me, it was saying in the in both ways. For example, ah, she asked me if you were a doctor. Mm. Okay. ¿Cuál tiene más sentido? Try to do it in both ways. That is going to help you. And again. Do it in that way. Pongan un nombre. Ah, es que él me preguntó esto y esto y esto. Okay? And that is going to help you to decide if you need to change the pronoun or not. At the beginning, it's difficult. I know. But with the practice, guys, it's going to become easier. Okay? Okay, teacher. Anyone else? Any other questions that you have? Yes, no? The, the tick is, is, is a user number for the for the uh, answer. What do you mean with the number? It is a for 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 change the, 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 ah, the to change the name, yes. yes. I mean you can do it like that. You can use the technique that helps you guys, all right? But it's with the practice. We are going to continue practicing. Just remember, we are going to change the pronoun only when it is necessary. In some scenarios, it might be not necessary, but in some others, it is. Okay. Right? Any other questions? Okay. No questions? Okay, well, we already practiced grammar. It's time to practice speaking. Are you ready to speak in English, everyone? Yes? Yes. Thank you. Only one says yes. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, listen, we are going to have a very easy practice. Right now, guys, you are going to ask just no questions to your classmates in simple present, okay? Only in simple present. Don't ask in future, don't ask in past. Only in present. And you can ask about likes, about hobbies, favorite things. You can ask about family, about job. I don't know, any kind of questions. Now, look at this one. This is an example. You can ask, are you from Santa Ana? Is this yes, a just no question? <laughs> oh, okay, some of you are. Yes. Is this a just no question? Yes. 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 Uh, do you like horror movies? Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. Ah. Totally. <laughs> nice. Now, you have to pay attention to your classmates because later I will ask you. Okay, Nelson, what did your classmate ask? And you have to report it. For example, ah, she asked me, mm -hmm, what is the reported speech for this question? If I, uh, uh -huh. where? If I were? If I was. If I was. was, 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 was. <laughs> if I was. From Santa Ana. From, from, from Santa Ana. Pretty good. All right. And the other one. Ah, what was the next question? Ah, well, if it was a boy, you can say, ah, he asked me. Mm -hmm. If I like horror movies. Very good. Horror movies. Simple as that. Got it? Yes? It's simple. Now, it is, I don't know. in order to do it easier, you will be working in teams. So imagine that you are working in teams of three. Okay? And Nelson asked the first question. The other members of the team answer the questions and one of the member can use a reported speech. For example, imagine that I have Lorena here. Lorena repeats what he asked. Ah, he asked me if you can practice the reported speech in the breakup rooms. And then when you go back, you have more practice. Got it? Yes? Yes. yes. Is it yes. clear the activity? It's clear. Yes. All right. Now try to ask easy questions. Don't complicate so much because if it is a very long question, it's going to be more difficult to report it. Okay? So be careful with that. Try to ask simple questions. Um, because I can see that there are some listeners. Let me try to create the groups manually. Give me a second. Um, please, guys, if you are not a listener, don't write the word listener because I will think that you are a listener, right? So <clears throat> um, give me a second. I'm creating the groups. If you feel that one of your classmates is not participating, guys, tell them, motivate them. Hey, what do you think? Okay, push your classmate to practice too. Remember, we are a team. We need to help each other. Let's see, let's see. Okay, pretty good, guys. Let's go to work, zero Spanish. I recommend you to write a questions because when we go back to the main room, I don't want you to tell me I don't remember the questions, teacher. Okay, please. So 
If you don't remember, write the questions, please. Let's go to work. My right. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> put it uh, what's up? No. No, we have to. She didn't. She didn't share us the the activity like like always. I'm what sending it. To... I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sending it right now. Give me Thank a second. Thank you. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't Thank worry. You. You're you. welcome. We are like, like Dory when we forget. Uh, things a few seconds ago, a few seconds later <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i already share it thank, thank you teacher. you're welcome well we need to talk with, with the date in in the uh, presentations um to guess us some um things that we can ask about the likes hobbies favorite things family job and <laughs> Hello, uh, hello, Jose. Welcome. Um, who wants to start? <laughs> okay, the first ladies. <laughs> the ladies first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Likes. <laughs> um. Um. What is your favorite movie? Mm. Is that a yes, no question? An open, Sorry. An open question, yes. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Okay. Oh. It's okay, but, uh, but do you like a, uh, a specific you, movie? <laughs> okay, do you like, sorry, sorry, I'm sleepy right now. Do you oh, like, <laughs> uh, do you like um, ice cream? Okay. Do you like ice cream? Do you like um, ice cream? I will ask, and maybe Carlos wants to report. It. Report, okay. <laughs> right, but yeah. answer. Do you like ice cream? Uh, do you like ice cream? Yes, uh, I like Andrea, ice cream. <laughs> Andrea asked me. Uh, I. If. If 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 I like it, like it, ice cream. <laughs> All right, good. That's the one. So okay. answer the question, and somebody said the reported speech. Then another member asked another question, answer, and somebody else said the reported speech. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Teacher, how do you say rueda caballitos? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a like a carousel. That you mean? Uh, okay, carousel, carousel is in Spanish, but in English is merry go round. Merry go round. So yeah. like a I merry was, go round. <laughs> I was thinking, for example, and Andrea question, I reported his speech. Uh, I my question. Hey, <laughs> yeah, sounds no good. Idea, no. It's Only. good. But remember, <laughs> it's nice to answer the question too. Okay. Okay. Let's continue okay. like a merry-go-round. <laughs> like a merry-go-round. Okay. For example, well, um, do you like do you like to travel? This time, Andrea ask and I will uh, report it. <laughs> um, answer. Yeah, you answer it. You answer. Okay. 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 Um, yes, I like to travel. Um, <laughs> Carlos, uh, ask Andrea. <laughs> I, I I forget it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> um. 
Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Carlos, uh, ask Andrea. Uh, what 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 was the the the? If um, I if if I if. like. Oh yeah yes thank you. Um, Carlos, ask and and if Andrea like liked travel. That's what he said, right? <laughs> yes. Like yes. travel or like to travel? Like to travel. Like to like travel. To travel. Okay. Yeah, busy. okay, thank you. Like to travel. Uh, this time, uh, Jose, can you say uh, the question? And okay. you answer, and then I report it. Okay. I make a report it. Question is, are you single? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's it, it hurts, but yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are ready. Right <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, what is the question? If, if I am he's single. Single. Uh, single. Ah, okay. yeah, Jose, <laughs> uh, Jose asked Kevin if okay. he was single. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> and, I, and I answer yes, I am <laughs> sadly. Uh, how about you, uh, Boris? Yes, I, I, I love go to the beach in the night. Oh. Okay. I. I. There. Are, there are. There aren't. Is how do you say so? They are not zoom zoom. Sure. Sure. There are there are not zoom. Uh, ah ah. Oh, I, I love the the, the the go the, to the beach in the night. Oh or, my! You don't like the zoom. heat. Or what? la calor, <laughs> yes, but uh, yes, continue with, it's, with it's the, the exercise. It's the, the hot, yes. <laughs> we, we can... It's a it's a fresh. It's um fired in the in the in the in the in the body. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it's all right if you want to give details, but please go back on track, okay? <laughs> please. Yeah. Uh, we are gonna say she asked if we went to the beach. Okay. Uh, Elias asked yeah. if I like I liked uh, the romantic movie. Yeah, it's it's right, yeah. and it's my turn of ask again. Um. Hmm. Do you like pizza? Yes, I like. Yes, no, yes I no. like. I, I, yes, want, I, I want to change my ask. Uh, <laughs> do you like Chinese food? Yes, I like Chinese food. Okay. And uh, how do you say? I don't like. Oh. Okay. I don't like food. Chinese, Chinese food. food. Uh, you're going to say... He asked if we like it. Like Chinese her. food. Yes. Okay. It, it's your turn, Boris. Hold on. Uh, Be careful the... with the pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of the verb ask in past? Ask. 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 Can ask. I say ask it? Ask. 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 Uh, what is the ask. past of like? Like, 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 like the one. So let's try to exaggerate the pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Okay, teacher. Boris, uh... Uh, do you do you talk other language? So, it's but today the, the topic is horrible. Yeah, word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. How long is you work from your house? 
Is that a yes, no question? Sorry, teacher. How long is your job from your house? Is that a yes, no question? Um, no, no. Really? It's because we are we were talking about something else. Ah, <laughs> the gossiping, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, but let's continue. Please ask okay. yes no question. Um okay, I just no question. Do you like desserts? Yes, I love dessert. Like Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, okay. now you can report. What did she say? What did she ask? She asked uh, if um how do you say it? She asks us if we like desserts. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Now, next question, please. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. Are you a lucky person? Uh -huh. What is the answer, guys? I'm sorry, repeat the question. Are you a lucky person? Uh, lucky from good luck, bad luck. Ah, okay. Just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very humble. <laughs> <laughs> No, if we're if we are talking about yes, like lucky for for win a prize or something like that, I think no in my case <laughs> because I never win in in the I don't know how to say rifas or sort of raffles. Yes, I never so have won a maybe <laughs> maybe Me I don't too. have luck. <laughs> All but, right, but one day at night when I came from my job to my job from my hub house i found 15 dollars that's okay. okay all that's right uh, wilbur what did cifredo ask she asked asked to pamela uh, if she is a lucky, lucky person if she is if she was a lucky person. Very good. That's the one. Next question. Do you like do you... basketball? And I need to practice a lot. Why I didn't get you? Why you're practicing base basketball? Because I don't have time. <laughs> no. Right now, uh, I'm not. I'm in a tournament, ah, and I need to tournament. practice. Yeah. Is there tournaments of basketball here in Salvador? Or is uh, in your college? In in my company. Ah, okay. That's it's great. interesting, yeah. You practice sports in your company. Yeah. Okay. No. Can you can you report what the question was? What did he ask? <laughs> <laughs> yes. About the hobbies. Yes, Oscar asked me if uh, I have hobbies okay if i have or if i had uh, if, I had. if i have That's hobbies. Yeah, next. yeah sorry very good next question please next question uh, what's your job mm, is that a just no question Ah, it has to be <laughs> just no question i forgot it <laughs> yes <laughs> What do you kind of movies prefer? Is that a just no question? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <Sorry. laughs> do you the like uh, horror movies? No, I don't like. Sorry. 
so Alexis, what did he ask? He asked me if I like horror movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Osman, ask a just no question. Osman is a listener, Osman. I think. Because oh. he's not Go, because he, he just didn't listening. answer. Ah, oh, all right. Okay. So continue, please. I'm going to check one more group and then we are going to go back to the main room. Yes, no question. The yes, no questions <laughs> doesn't have yes. a word. Be careful, okay? We're yeah. going materials. <laughs> so, so there was just no question. Yeah. So... Yeah. But you. <laughs> right now. Oh my God, the teacher is here. The teacher is here. Okay. Stop to share the, the screen. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. You, so, you say it like if I'm the evil or something like that. Come on. So okay. guys, we, we, we were speaking about do you have children, right? Ah, okay. Ask a question. Just no question. Somebody, please. Um, do you have children? So Anyone? everybody, what is the answer? The answer, yes, I have. Okay, awesome. The report speech. Uh huh. The report speech will be um. Ricardo. Edwin, right? Ricardo. 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 Ah, Ricardo. Ricardo asked me if I had children. That's the one. Another question, please. Do you have Edwin? pets? Uh huh. Can you repeat? Do you have pets? Pets. Uh huh. Everybody, do you have pets? Yes, I have pets. <laughs> okay. But, uh, and now in reported speech, it will be uh, Carlos asked me if I had pets. Cool. Next question. Edwin, Osman. Hey, okay. Ricardo, do you like music? Do you like music, Osman? Do you like music? Yes, I like. Mm, what did he ask? Uh, the report is pitched. Will be uh, uh, in this case we put uh, Ricardo. Ricardo asked me if I like it. Is if I liked music. Ah, okay. Osman, ask a question. Uh, do you play video video, video game? Uh huh. Edwin. Um, Osman. Ask me if I played video game. Good. And do you play video games, Edwin? Sometimes when I okay. have to. Hey, pretty good. Nice. Good job, everyone. Now, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay. Pretty good. Time's up. Let's return. Let's go back. We are going to wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay. Easy or difficult to practice? What do you think? When we practice, it's easier because we have a lot of words and sentences and we can repeat every single word faster, slowly, and we help us to improve the English. Yes. That's good. And you can help each other. That's the main goal, guys, when you are working in teams, that you can help each other. Sorry. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's wait for everyone. Okay. Everybody, did your classmate ask just no questions? Yes. 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 A few. I have a question. Pay attention mm. here. If I say, what's your favorite food? Is that a just no question? No. 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 It's a double ish question. Remember exactly. If you start the questions with a double H word, that is a double H question we have to be careful because if we want to report double h questions the structure is different 
Okay, be careful with that. Now, did your classmate use correctly the reported speech? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Ah, did your classmate change the pronoun? Yes. Yes. Did your classmate yes, use... Yes, we try. Ah, good. Did your classmate <clears throat> use the word if or whether? Uh, yes. Then use if. If? if? Yes. <laughs> it's all right. It doesn't matter. Did your classmate change the verb in past? All the Always. time. Always. Excellent. And how was the pronunciation of the verb in past? Uh, uh, is, uh, perfect work. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's the attitude. So be careful, especially guys, with the regular verbs in past. Sometimes I was listening to play. Can I say play? No. Can I say like it? No. Ask it? No. no. All right. So if you feel that the pronunciation of the regular verbs is difficult, well, that's the topic that we need to practice more. Okay? Be careful with that. Now it's my turn to interview you. Actually, I was listening to the groups and I really liked the way that you were practicing. All of you were trying to say the reported speech. That's nice. Let me interview to some of you. Um, I'm going to start with Elias <laughs> because I have been I'm listening to her. Very good. <laughs> Elias, tell me one of the questions that your classmate asked. Uh, she asked if we have pet. Ah, sounds good. And what did your classmate say? We say that, well, I said that no, not have, no, I am not, I am, oh, come on. I didn't. <laughs> I said that. I don't have it. Okay, don't is in present. What is in past? Didn't. didn't. Ah, very I good. Didn't have it. Now, if you see, guys, now we can report affirmative, negative, and questions. So we can yeah. report every sentence. Elias, pick one of your classmates. Oh, man. Uh... I see a victim Osman <laughs> okay Osman tell me one of the questions that your classmate asked okay for example uh, mm -hmm. let me see I don't remember uh, then ah, okay uh, for example uh, Ricardo asked uh, do you like music Mm -hmm. So what is the reported uh, speech? The reported speech we uh, if uh, will be Ricardo asked me if I liked music. Mm. And what did you say? Because I uh, I don't understand, teacher. What did you say? What was the answer? Ah, uh, the answer. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, I like. Okay, but reported the speech. I said. That I liked. Okay, yeah. so guys, remember we already practiced how to report the yes and the negative and affirmative sentences. Yes or no? So yes. right now we are reporting everything. Okay, so in that case, Osman, you okay. can say yes. I said that I liked it. Okay. Okay, okay, I understand. Osman, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, let me see. Uh, Kevin Any... Alexander? Kevin Alexander? All right, Kevin, tell me, what did your classmate ask? Microphone? Microphone, I cannot hear you. 
I'm sorry. I forget that when we going back from break rooms, it's always on silent. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. All right. Um, Jose asked me if I was single. <laughs> okay. And what did you say? Uh, I say that I, mm, I, I, I am. In past, was. Okay, in past. I was. Yeah. But I'm still so why? <laughs> I know, but remember that we are using reported speech. Teacher. I said that I was single. Teacher. Yes, Wilbur? Kevin okay, got nervous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is not an easy question, right? Yes. All right. Now, it Kevin, <laughs> pick one of your classmates, please. Um, it's time to the rebate. <laughs> um, Someone. Frido, I see him wants to to <laughs> to speak. <laughs> he wants to speak. I know. Yeah. I know. Really? Okay. Sifrido, <laughs> tell me, what did your classmate ask? Uh, he has a lot of things, but one of the most interesting, or the first one, was Pamela asked us if. We had a pet. Okay. And what did you say? Just uh, a <laughs> Okay. I said. I said that I have pets. Very good. That's the one. Cifrido, pick someone. Mm, let me see. A victim. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> He's looking for a victim. <laughs> Hmm. I see he is not listener, Ricardo Ernesto. Very good, Ricardo. What did your classmate no ask? <laughs> um, el, for example, I have uh, Elvin asked me if it, if it is was raining in my city. Mm, and what did you say? I said that it was not raining in my city. That's good. Pretty good job. The last one, Ricardo, pick someone. Um, Jose Salvador. Thank you. Okay, Jose, what did your classmate ask? Microphone. Uh, Andrea asked if I like ice cream. Ah, okay. And what did you say? I said I like ice cream. Pretty good. Excellent. Guys, let me tell you that you are doing such a beautiful job. Very good. So how did you feel? Easy or difficult the topic? also in the practice. what happens is that our mind has to think fast right we need to change the grammar tenses we need to change the pronoun we need to remember what our classmate said so we need yeah. to remember the information so i think that this is like a very nice exercise for our mind okay we are going to continue practicing this topic don't worry but please, this is a practice that you can do in your free time. For example, when uh, imagine that your coworkers or your friend or somebody says something to you, immediately in your mind, you can say, ah, oh, what did he say? He said that and try to do it. Try to use the reported speech. Any questions so far, guys, about this topic? No. Nope? No, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's continue. We don't have more time, but that was the first part of the reporting questions. Now, let's see the other part. We are not going to complete it, but we are going to uh, do it at least for the 10 minutes that we have left. Um, can you see the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay, we are going in this 
10 minutes that we have, we are going to review the, what is this? Present? Present perfect. Present perfect. Do you remember the present perfect? With an, with an example, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I say, for example, I have visited my family. Yes? Yes. Or yes, yes. if I say, I have studied English for a long time. Mm -hmm. Ah, I have traveled to another country. Do you remember now the present perfect? Yes. Did? Yes, so so. Yes. All right. Kinda. Listen, we are going to review the present perfect because we are going to study a new way to use report the speech. And we are going to use the present perfect. Okay? Now, before checking the structure of the present perfect, I need to check attendance again. So guys, when you listen to your names, say present, please. Hey, Amanda Zamora. Well, she is sick. Um, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Uh, uh, Present teacher. Okay. Elias Neftali Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay. <clears throat> Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. All right. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. All right. Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay, thank you. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Here. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Here. Okay. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's review the present perfect. If you don't remember it, don't worry. I'm going to explain it again. Now, in the present perfect, we are going to use an auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Mm -hmm. Have. Uh, ha has. Or has. has. Has, if it is in third person. When we are talking about present perfect, guys, this is a grammar tense that indicates unfinished actions, okay? We are explaining something that we started in the past, but maybe we didn't finish or we don't specify that I finished. For example, if I say, I have studied English. What is the translation? The translation? Yes. Yo estudio, yo estudio inglés. Mm, yo estudio. Are you he sure? estudiado. He he estudiado. Is the one. Yo he estudiado inglés. If I say that, what do you think? Did I finish? Or I'm oh. still studying English. I'm still studying still, English. Still, Maybe, still. right? We don't specify that we already finished. That is the difference with the simple past. Because if I say, I studied English, what is the translation? Estudié inglés. Yo estudié. Did I finish? No. 
In this case, if I say I studied, ¿estoy estudiando inglés todavía? I studied no, English. No, English. No, no, no right? Over. That means that the action is over. I finished. I don't continue studying. That is the difference with the present perfect. In this case, the present perfect indicates that the action is not over, or at least we don't specify. Again, what is the structure? I need the subject. Auxiliary have. If it is third person, is has. And here is the difference with the simple past. Look at the verb. Verb in past participle. Correct. We use the verb in past participle. If you don't remember the verbs in past participle, I already sent on WhatsApp group the list so you can start reviewing the verbs. For example, I have eaten. Okay? Now, if I want to say it in negative, what do I need to do? Has not. Have Only not. add the word not. For example, I have not. Eden. Can we use contractions? What do you think? Yes. What is the contraction? Have haven't. Haven't. And and hasn't. Hasn't. I haven't eaten. In third person, she has eaten. eaten. Okay. Now let's see. Give me sentences, guys. Tell me something that you have done recently. Mm -hmm. Think about an activity that you have done recently. I have no. I have a started studied? Is, no, I have a started like start. Uh-huh. To practice English. Very good to practice English. That's a very nice sentence. Another thing, guys, tell me something else that you have done recently. I have eaten some fruits. Very good. I have eaten some fruits. What else? Uh -huh. I have cooked my dinner. I have cooked my dinner. Sounds good. Anyone else? I have bought chocolate. Nice, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Good. Sure. Now, think about the activities that you haven't done recently. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I haven't eat, eaten. I have. Okay, I, have I haven't eaten uh -huh. fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't eaten fried chicken. If you see, guys, negative, the verb is always in past participle. What else? Yeah. Tell me something else, guys, that you haven't Teacher, done recently. If yeah? I say I haven't gone to the beach. Yes, absolutely. I haven't gone to the beach. Pretty good. What else? I haven't washed the dishes. Very good. I haven't washed the dishes. Wash. What else? He, he, hasn't, he hasn't seen a cat. Very good. Third person. Excellent. Anyone else? I have drawn the orange, orange juice. Orange juice. Sounds good. That's affirmative. Pretty good. Anyone else? Uh huh. I haven't I slept haven't. well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Sleep. Well. Mm. Sleep. Sleep. That's Sleep. the one. Sleep. I haven't slept. Sleep. 
Well. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? Anyone else? Think about uh, it. I haven't bought uh, a cell phone. Very good. Excellent. So look at this, guys. All of the sentences that you are mentioning are present perfect. So don't forget the structure. Subject, auxiliary, have or has, depending if it is third person or not. And the key is the verb. I need the verb in past participle. That's why, guys, it is not optional. It is not another way but memorizing the verbs. If you don't memorize the verbs, mm -mm, we are not going to be able to talk in the present perfect. So that is your new homework, okay? If you don't remember the verbs, let's start reviewing them. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Tomorrow, we are going to continue practicing this grammar tense. So please, guys, review the verbs, okay? Do you have any questions before leaving? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like you share the the video classes, please. Absolutely, guys. Uh, I'm going to share the link for YouTube. Uh, remember that in that link, you can find all the videos. Also, guys, you can find the recording of the class on the platform. So it will be there too. But I will share the link on WhatsApp right now, okay? Any Thank other you. questions? You're very welcome. Any other questions that you may have? It's okay. All right. Now, the winner. Tonight, we have a winner. And the winner is Carlos Mauricio. So, Carlos, are you there? Yes. Pretty good. You have to stay, please. Good night. The rest of you, you are free to go. Have a wonderful night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. All right. I think that they don't want to leave. Okay. So, hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello. Everything is okay. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Carlos, this meeting is just to talk a little bit and to clarify some questions that you may have about the classes, about the platform, or about the program, okay? okay. So this is your moment. <laughs> Tell me, do you have any questions so far? Um, to be honest, everything is clear. Um, this is, this is, this not is the first module that I have with this English corporation. So I, I, I know how we work. So uh, I am familiarized with this method. So no, to, to be honest, no, no question so far. Great, that's awesome. All right, so if you don't have questions, I will give my feedback for you. Okay. Um, and the feedback that I have is actually very positive, all right? Mm -hmm. I can see that you participate a lot in the class, and that's something that I really appreciate in my students. I can see you in every single class. You try to participate. When we are in the breakup rooms, you also participate. So that's great. I liked it. Another positive feedback is I can see that you already finished the unit number one on the platform with an excellent score. So very yes. good job, very Thank good you. job. Excellent. Um, with your attendance, okay, I can see that you are very responsible too. I know that you weren't here one day, but Good. you informed Good that it was, yeah, I totally understand the reason. But so far, I can see that you are very responsible with the attendance. So, very positive feedback. I yes. expect that you continue like that, all right? Yes, I really appreciate the opportunity uh, because I talk with my boss and I tell him about this program. And to be honest, he he helped me a lot of with this. Mm -hmm. So I, I will uh, take the whole uh, new things that English Corporation can give me 
and I need to improve a lot of things. That is the reason that I'm here. And I appreciate to you because you are so happy person <laughs> and you help us a lot to to talk, to write, to hear, to speak. And that is something that I appreciate. Uh, I want to say thank you. And I know this maybe is, is your job, but I can see you enjoy this job. I do. So, <laughs> so, so really, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for your words. And yeah, I know that the schedule is difficult. I know that you do a huge effort to be here. So that's why I try to have like a dynamic class in order that you don't feel uh, sleepy, right? Yeah. So, I remember the first class um in the at the end I will I was trying to asking you about the some breaks uh, in middle to the class but in the end uh, I saw it's not necessary because we uh spend the time so 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 quick <laughs> and enjoy the class and That's you make fun. that so at the end I didn't I didn't I didn't decide to ask that question. <laughs> yeah. But it's and, okay. And it, unfortunately, unfortunately, the answer would have been no. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, topics to cover. So it's difficult to stop in the middle of the class. And maybe yeah. people you said, okay, guys, take 10 minutes and the people take 15 20 they won't go back <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's a little bit difficult but it's it's a new experience and i will take everything as i said before so thank you excellent that's the attitude so i expect that the same behavior for the full course okay always participating always be here on time and always working on the platform. If one day you need help with something, if you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask because I'm here to help. Okay? Yes, I really appreciate it. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay. Thank you so much, Carlos, for staying. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.